Chris Woodward, you're a magician. You've yes. just shown me a couple of tricks off air. We'll, we'll do one in a minute. We'll, we'll do one in a minute <laughs> yeah, on air. Sure. But it, it was absolutely fascinating. <laughs> I'd like to know how you got that second ball into my hand <laughs> without <laughs> me feeling it. Ah, okay. Um, you wouldn't believe, like, real magic then? Okay. You know? <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I mean, all I really tell that. people. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> Several <laughs> thousand probably wouldn't. But <laughs> there exactly. we go. Yeah. Um, how, how long have hmm? you been doing this, Chris? Um, I've been doing this for, uh, I'd say, eight years. I've been doing yeah. gigs uh, for about eight years. Uh, I was doing uh, card tricks and things like that ever since um, I was in junior school, maybe about the age of nine. But, um, yeah, um, I'm 26 now, and it's been a good run, actually, doing weddings and uh, restaurants and uh, now the Trench Festival yeah. you know, as well, so it's excellent. Yeah. Mm. The type of magic you do is close-up magic, one-on-one. -on -one. Yes, and we've just done a, a trip with a couple of rubber balls here. Mm -hmm. But it started off as one, then it went to two. Do we get any more? <laughs> Do we multiply as the night goes on? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Sometimes um, I change that routine um, when I do it on people. I mean, mm. uh, th there have been uh, instances where uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd surprise them by producing quite a few like sponge balls yeah. you know, out of yeah, the hands. And um, yeah. <laughs> That is absolutely fascinating. Um, you must be a member of the Magic Circle, I think. Oh, that's the thing. Uh, I'm actually not. Um, I think it was uh, just by choice, really. I have a uh, lot of friends who are uh, part of the Magic uh, mm. Circle. Um, it was just my decision not to join, because for the longest time I was used to going uh, solo. Yeah. Um, I was... Um, yeah, I... I, I kind of felt like um, I didn't want to join that group, you know, I mean, maybe I possibly will one day, but at the moment I just feel very uh, content, you know, like yeah. this, really. But yeah. being outside. So. Yes, yeah, it, I, I kind of feel very different, like very individual, yeah, yeah. like this, and um, yeah, and, I'm, and yet I'm still learning new things, either way. Let's talk about you and your life. You weren't born here. You, you live in Preston, but you weren't mm. born here. No, I wasn't. I was born in uh, Malawi, Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, w I moved to the UK. Well, uh, me and my parents moved to the UK when I was uh, just under two years old. You know, so, um, yeah. So I can't really speak the language or anything like that. But, um, yeah. You... Uh, how, do you how do you find you know, your relationship now with Africa? Oh, with Africa. Um, I find it very strange because um, I've been there a number of times um, since I was born there. And um, and every time I go back, it usually does feel after a while like mm. a second home. I keep uh, meeting uh, like uh, relatives yeah. uh, that I didn't yeah. know about. So it feels like I'm constantly finding new relatives when I go out there, mm. cousins and yeah. And uh, I think... Uh, uh, one of the many reasons I go out there now is uh, my parents started up a, a charity for orphans out there. Yeah. So yeah, it was called uh, Friends of Melange Orphans. So yeah, it's um, it, it's really uh, nice going out there for that. As well. So how how does that work? That charity because that's interesting as well. Yeah. Oh um yeah basically um yeah it's a uh, it takes care of um of orphans like uh, probably over like two thousand orphans i've mm. lost count now but um, it's incredible how my mum started that is a fantastic this number yeah, it really is it's uh, it's not exactly just throwing money blindly at them or anything it's just providing them with the things they need uh just food a uh, roof over their head uh, education mm. it's like helping them help themselves you know so uh, something is actually working with it and um yeah it's fantastic, really. And perhaps your parents would come on to Chat City one day and talk about what they're doing. Yes, yes. Apparently, um, even my dad has been on here before. Yeah. Apparently, yeah, he's spoken about it. He's yeah, Keith Woodworth. Yeah, he's, oh, right. yeah, yeah. he's been here before. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's out there. That is absolutely fascinating. Yeah, All no right, problem. Well, let's have a uh, yeah. look mm -hmm. at um, mm -hmm. one of your tricks here. We mentioned the balls earlier on. Oh, yeah, yeah, sponge balls. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, you'll see a pack mm -hmm. of cards. Ah, yeah. Yes, okay. Well, I decided to bring this out just for this little thing. I mean, there's a number of things I do with cards, but this one I'll show you. Um, I mean, th this is like a really um, like silly idea that I'm going to use here. Like, um, it's using a method of uh, like an, an idea of stopping time to find your card. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. And um, 
And whether you buy into that or not, we'll see. Any card? Yeah, any card you want, okay? Okay. So, yeah, and it doesn't really matter if um, I see that card. It's just as long as we can use one right. card you're happy with. I mean, yeah. We're, we're, yeah, yeah okay I'm happy with that one. With that one. Yeah, okay, right. So we got the four. Yeah. yeah hearts there. Okay, so we got the four of hearts, all right? Yeah. So that's just very carefully. All I need to do is put that inside, okay, there. And you can push that, that all that, the way inside. It goes okay. inside the pack. Yeah, push it inside. We'll yeah. Push that completely inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah. Right, mate. And he's giving me. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I can shovel. Yeah. And there you go. Look. Top oh, one. Up here. It's in your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> now that it's, is magic. Uh, those unexpected things. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally unexpected. It's one of my favourite methods of distraction as well. And, yeah. Um, yeah. It's funny even catching my parents out with things like that as well. Yeah. My dad um, is one of the, I don't know, in terms of magic and things like that, he's, he can be very critical, one of the, the most critical people I know. And so it's really rewarding when I practice something on him and it really works like that. You know, so, yeah, <laughs> it's always fun. Oh wow, um, that is amazing. And that's the kind of thing <laughs> you're going to be doing at the Tringe. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, it's uh, at the Trinch, uh, people will see uh, a mixture of card magic, uh, not just sponge balls, but things involving uh, normal objects, uh, things that, uh, that belong to people mm. as well. Um, and um, yeah, there'll, there'll be, um, I don't know, maybe a little bit of uh, mental magic or, um, yeah, and maybe one or two weird things involving body parts <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> as well. You know, but, uh, they have to wait to see that <laughs> as well. But I keep things very visual and interactive anyway mm. so mm. are you going to be on a stage as such or are you just going to be walking around various different areas and... no this is going to be very intimate um, I'm not going to be on stage I generally uh, don't perform on stage I um, I probably do at least one or two effects on stage when lots of people want to see at the same time but um, but no what how I work I basically uh, approach people I go around I'm very mobile and um, so it is a very one-on-one uh, -on -one or um, there are situations where I've performed like in a bar where I've, had, I've just had a crowd of people around mm. me like that on all areas, keeping things fair. They can see anything they want, you know. Like yeah. That, so, yeah. So yeah. If, there, if there's a lot of people around, some of them can probably see how, they, how you yeah. actually achieve the end well, result, like with yeah. that card. That was yeah. a complete mm -hmm. distraction while mm. I was putting the card in. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, well, that's the thing. Um, it, <clears throat> It's like uh, when, when I have lots of people around me, I love that because that really pushes me further, yeah. you know, and it's comes to the point where even with lots of people around me, they still don't see how I do stuff. You mm. know, they can see at all angles. I mean, um, I, I've even done like something like that I've done to you with people even behind me or something and they didn't see what I did, there, no. you know, or how I did it or anything. You know, so it's uh, it's come to that point. You know, it's building a rapport with people, and um, yeah, getting getting the person mm. to relax as well, I guess. Yes, yeah, I get people uh, relaxed. Um, I mean, it, it's always been interesting because I've, I've met so many different types of people uh, f through this, and um, and obviously uh, with uh, the very skeptical people, they have their arms crossed like that. Yeah. It's, it's always it feels like it's my job to get something in their hand. You know, get mm. them. Uh, to feel something, you know, yeah, to get excited and just to have fun with it, really, yeah. A very good friend of mine actually does, um, uh, I won't say magic as such, so I guess to an extent it falls under the same thing. He uh, uh, carries out the same kind of tricks that was done by Houdini. Oh, okay, wow. And um, he, he studied Houdini. For a, for a long, long time. Mick Hanslick, his name is. Oh, really? And um, he uh, he's a locksmith himself, so yeah. <laughs> he's in yeah. the right trade. Oh, of excellent. Of um, but um, uh, your, your magic is totally different. Yeah, sort of yeah. Um, oh, but, um, it's interesting you actually mentioned that though, because um, last month I was um, I was actually in um, LA in Los Angeles yeah. Um, yeah. visiting friends, and um, it was incredible because I got to perform at uh, the Magic Castle. It's uh, yeah. I mean you can Google that maybe, but uh, it's a very exclusive place in Hollywood, and um, 
what when my friend gave me the tour um, around there as well, uh, the the actual Magic Castle is like exclusive for magicians, um, like members and everything. Uh, there was this one room um, that's a, like a, a seance room, Houdini yeah. seance room, and in the cabinets they actually had Houdini's original uh, props in there right. that he used. He had his straight jackets and his handcuffs and things like that. So uh, it's incredible just seeing those things like in, in real like that.